Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm still really new to YouTube, so I appreciate so, so much all of you who take the time to check out my videos. Today I'm gonna share with you how I got blood out of a bright white comforter. It was a pretty big stain, and I used something that you probably already have in your cabinet at home. So this is what I'm dealing with. I haven't put anything on it yet. I did put a paper towel underneath one of the ruffles simply because I knew that when I started spraying it with something, it was going to bleed through and it probably will anyway, but I'm going to try it. So <clears throat> I went ahead and put a paper towel under that ruffle and got busy trying to get it out. So I started out by taking just an empty spray bottle. I washed it out really well and then I poured in it some regular hydrogen peroxide and it's plain hydrogen peroxide like what you get from the dollar store. So I put that in there and I began to spray it on the stain. I covered it really well. I sprayed the whole thing down. I probably covered it too well, but I noticed when I sprayed it on there that it immediately started working. I sprayed it down really well, and I'm, I know that the camera's a little shaky. I was trying to hold the camera while doing this, so I apologize for the camera shake. When I put it on there, you could not only see it working, but you could actually hear it working. It was making little sizzling noises. At this point, it really looked a lot darker than it was, but you could hear it and you could tell that it was doing its job, so I just let it sit for about five minutes and then I came back to it. So this is what it looked like when I came back to it. And I could tell that it had faded a little bit, but it was still there. And so I decided that I would take some paper towels and I would squeeze as much out of there as I could. And I know that wasted a few paper towels, but I was, you know, I'd rather waste some paper towels than lose my comforter. So I wrung out each little spot and squeezed it as best I could to get as much as I could out of it. I was hopeful by this point because I realized that I was making progress. So I decided that I would spray it down again. And this time I probably sprayed it a little bit too much. I sprayed a lot of it on there and I just repeated those steps. I sprayed it down and then I let it sit for a minute. And then I started um, taking a paper towel and wringing it out and just squeezing it, trying to get as much of that out as I could. Every time I did this, I saw more and more progress. By the way, you should probably use gloves if you're doing this for somebody else. At this point, I was really excited because you could barely see the stain and where it had been. So I thought, well, I'm going to spray it down one more time. I'm going to do this one more time, and then I'm going to pop it in the washing machine. So this is what it looked like after five minutes. I came back, and there was a big difference. It was a big improvement. So I could still barely see this one, you know, the one small faded spot. But I went ahead, I know this is redundant, but I went ahead and started squeezing that out. And I just tried to make sure that I squeezed out everything I could as, as much as I could right here. So 
So I know that's a lot of repeated steps, but every time I did this, I saw a little bit more improvement. So you're gonna have to just determine on your own stain how bad yours is and how many passes of hydrogen peroxide you'll have to do. But by the time I got to this point, you could barely see it. So I went ahead and I sprayed a little bit more hydrogen peroxide on it. This last time, I didn't even rinse that out. I just popped it in the washing machine and decided I would go ahead and wash it. And I washed it on a normal cycle. I didn't put, you know, I just put regular washing detergent in there, didn't do anything special to it, didn't soak it, nothing. Just popped it in the washing machine and let it go to see how well it did. Okay guys, here it is. It all came out. Um, can't even tell where it was. I marked it with a little safety pin. So my safety pin is here. So this is the area. It was right here. It is gone. It's all gone. Awesome. These were the ruffles. It's gone. Yay!